Before, we have already discussed that MongoDB shell is based on the JavaScript engine and it even supports modern JavaScript, ECMAScript syntax. But let's talk a little bit deeper about how this affects syntax that you need to use to execute MongoDB commands. Let's take, for example, DB version command that you have already executed several times in previous lessons. And let's look at its structure. Please note that this course is not a course about JavaScript. That's why I cannot dive really deeply into JavaScript. But I just want to mention main concepts that are reflected in this MongoDB syntax. So, let's start. DB. DB in MongoDB shell is an object. And each object in JavaScript has its own properties. You can assign also a function to the object as a property. In this case, this property will be called method. And using dot notation, you can access any property of the object. In this case, we access method called version that is the property of the object called db. So, version is just a method. And what is left? We see also parentheses here. Parentheses are needed for method invocation. So, if you want to execute certain method of the object, you need to add parentheses. If you will omit those parentheses, you will just see contents of this function, called version in my case, in a string format. So, that's that simple. But let's look at this in practice and switch to the MongoDB shell. So, first of all, I will use operator called type of and just print type of db and enter. And you see that db is an object as I have told you before. Then we can print db dot and then twice tab. And you see all possible methods that this db object has. And you are able to access any of those methods using dot notation. Dot, in fact, is also an operator in JavaScript. Ok, so db dot version. If I will omit parentheses and just press enter, I will see contents of this version function in string format. So let's do this. So you see that output is just a string that contains function declaration. And this function just returns this dot server built info parentheses dot version. So I will not dive deeply here, but again you see same dot notation. You see that we invoke server built info method and use its property called version, and then return this information back as a result of the function. So let's just execute this function. Parentheses will execute this function. And then press enter and you will see a result that is a result of this return statement. So, pretty simple, yeah? In the next section, let's talk about arguments that can be passed to the method. See you shortly.